All right guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make a spam bot. I have two examples today. The first example is going to be if the string is positive or negative. And the next one is actually going to be a spam filter. So you can see we just import our dependencies up here. And then we load in our classifier here. And uh, essentially how it works is that you have some data, you then pass that data, and then you generate a JSON file, which you quickly load into your classifier, and then that can categorize all of your different things. Down here, I just asked the categorizer to categorize these two strings. This is the first string, this is the second string, and this is the output we're gonna be getting. And I can just also quickly run that, and you can see that that's what we're gonna get. Now, I do wanna add, if you do train them yourself, you will have to have a lot of data. So I would recommend going with a data set. But our generators are here. This is the one I just took a look at, the positive and negative one. We make our classifier and then it works really simple. Make sure to do this in an asynchronous scope, but then you just classifier, learn, and then you learn it, the string, and then you label it. String, label it. The string, label it. It is very simple. And then all you do is that you save this pretty much just classifier to json and then you save that and that's pretty much as simple as it is but this example doesn't really you know work that well because literally we only have five strings to train on so what i want to show you is how you can actually do this with more data now since i don't have the time to categorize 5,000 messages and make a really solid classifier well we are of course going to be downloading the data now i have got my data set from here i'll also leave a link to this data set down down below all you have to do is create an account it's totally free and then press the download button now i'm not completely sure on the licensing for this but that's why i'm not going to be including it in the project files but i will just include a link and you can download it yourself but if you are doing this for a product I would recommend um, finding a data set which you can definitely use. But that's essentially all that is. This is a CSV. And if you get some other format than CSV, then you can easily go on my channel and find a bunch of videos on working with different data formats. So that should really not be a problem. Now, if we go into our spam or ham, and if you don't know what ham means, stands for harmless. And then all I do is I load the files and I make create a class file like before. And then you can see we are loading that file in. And then we're just looping over each element and putting them in and telling the classifier to learn that and then writing it. It's very simple. So that is the spam or ham. So let's change this so it will use that classifier instead. So we'll just use the spam or ham classifier and let's run it. And you can see we get ham. So both of them are harmless. I've prepared a little test over here. This one down here, buy the new amazing products for only $20. This is of course gonna be spam. And I was actually quite surprised to see that it did actually categorize this correctly. All right, we just have to hit save. So there you go, ham, ham, and spam. And isn't that just amazing? Now, if you go on this website here, you can definitely find other data sets for categorizing, let's say beauty products from tech products and other things like that. So you don't only have to categorize spam or not spam. So really go ahead and have some fun, find some cool data sets and then teach the classifier the difference. And then you can really create some powerful classifiers. And then you can even hook this up to an API and then you can create like a little cool API. Now, if you want me to make a video where I make an API out of this, then comment that down below and I will be sure to do that. All right, guys, I think that was enough rambling for today. If you enjoyed this video, please hit a thumbs up and comment down below. It really means a lot to me. So guys, that was everything for today and hopefully see you in the next one.